We know you're getting older when you use your vehicle's heated seats, not for warmth, but for back pain. Today we have the elderly couple, Zachariah and Elizabeth, who were elderly, far past childbearing years. Elizabeth had been barren her whole life, and yet a great miracle occurs where they have a child who would be John the Baptist, and John the Baptist really is the new Samson. We heard in that first reading from the book of Judges how the angel of God came to the mother of Samson and says she was barren, having no children, and yet the angel says to her, she will conceive and bear a son. And this son would take the Nazarite vow. The Nazarite vow was really a vow similar to you know, the priesthood. It was a dedication to God where somebody would grow up and they would not cut their hair. They would not have any wine or strong drink. They'd be dedicated to God from their mother's womb. And the angel tells the mother of Samson, that God will use your son to bring deliverance of, from the Philistines. The Philistines had overrun Israel at the time, and God was going to raise up Samson to defeat the Philistines. And so we then have, it says, the woman bore a son and named him Samson, and the spirit of the Lord was upon him. <clears throat> and then we have in the gospel, this new Samson, John the Baptist, being dedicated to God from his mother's womb. The angel Gabriel told Zechariah in the temple that you will give, you, you and Elizabeth will have a son. You shall name him John. The name John means God is gracious. And then Gabriel describes what John the Baptist will bring, that will bring great rejoicing and gladness. People will rejoice at his birth for he will be great before the Lord, just like Samson. He shall not drink wine or strong drink. He'll be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. So he would be a Nazarite. He'd be dedicated to God. And John the Baptist obviously would make these vows as well. He will turn many of the sons of Israel to the Lord their God. So just as Samson was used to defeat the Philistines, so John the Baptist would be used to defeat sin to call people to repentance. People would go out, confess their sins in the Jordan River. He would baptize them, a baptism of repentance, and he would help to defeat sin and prepare the way for the Lord. Gabriel says he will go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah. So John would be that new Elijah type figure that would come before the Messiah in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of fathers to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just to make ready for the Lord a people prepared. And what is Zechariah's response when the angel Gabriel appears to him? He doubts. He does not believe that this can happen. He says, I am an old man. My wife is advanced in years. And then Gabriel reveals who he is, the power of God, the strength of God. Gabriel is the one who appeared to Daniel in the Old Testament and told Daniel, when the Messiah would come, which would be 70 weeks of years, which is 490 years, and this is exactly the year that Gabriel predicted, 490 years before the Messiah was about to be born. But first, the precursor had to be born, that is John the Baptist. Well, what happens to Zechariah? He's not able to speak for the next nine months. He goes home and they conceive a child. And Elizabeth is filled with God's blessing and you know, sort of goes on retreat, says, hides herself for five months. So the Lord has taken away <clears throat> my reproach from among men and she will have a son. Of course, they will name him John and he'll be known as John the Baptist, one of the greatest saints in the history of the church. So we see today this miraculous conception of John the Baptist and it would prepare us for the miraculous conception of Jesus in the womb of his mother, Mary. And so God is working miracles, first with the elderly couple, Zachariah and Elizabeth, and then with our blessed mother, who will give birth to the savior of the world. I'll give you a blessing now with the relic of St. Elizabeth. Through the intercession of St. Elizabeth, my mother, God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs>